of tonight's show, New York Nick Amari Stoudemire. <laughs> From Kate Plus Eight, Kate Goslin. fan when she was on Dancing with the Stars, and I've been trying to get her on our show ever since. I guess she finally got a babysitter. Please welcome from Kate <laughs> Plus Eight, Kate Gosling. <laughs> Kate, you look fantastic. How is that? I know women in my family that have had three children that don't look as awesome as you do, and you have eight children. Congratulations. They're still in there. They still got that hospital band thing on their wrist. <laughs> hey, so I've been trying to get you on the show for a long time. I may have allegedly said some things about you. Allegedly. 48. <laughs> I counted. Oh, do the 48? But, but I, I will give you a free slap at me. <laughs> or, or I could move in. <laughs> I campaigned. I wanted to keep you on Dancing with Stars. Did you know that? I did, thank you. I wanted America to vote for you and keep you on. I wanted you to win. Oh, gosh, you and my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I even did this. Check this out, everybody. Yesterday, I tweeted, everybody should vote for Kate, and why? Do it for her kids, do it for her poor partner, Tony, and most importantly, do it for the United States of America. Times are tough. But when we see that, we feel better about ourselves. Say it with me, everyone. Keep Kate alive! Keep Kate alive! You, you know, I, I don't know what else. First of all, thank you, because I, at the time I was like, is he doing it sarcastically or like for real? <laughs> Obviously, that probably kept me on far longer than my dancing. <laughs> what, what did, the, but you do have a good sense of humor about yourself. I do. You have, you have to, I think. You have to laugh or you'll cry, and I, I cry enough. I like to laugh. Yeah, we don't want you to cry. Are, are you glad that you did Dancing with the Stars? It's shiny there now. Another um, reason I'm moving in. <laughs> are, are, you glad, are you glad you did Dancing with the Stars? I am. You know, it's... I, I mean, I know I am. I don't know if America's glad, but <laughs> I, I learned a lot about myself. I learned that if I could dance six hours a day, I could definitely run an hour a day. I mean, I had five free hours when I was done dancing. Yes, and, and you it's have, time you have become a runner. I always ran a little bit, but I started running outside to relieve stress, and I kind of got a little carried away, as I quite possibly tend to do with a lot of things. Yeah. And I'm up to, on my good days, eight miles, and um, I hope to run a marathon. That's unbelievable. That's, you run a Boston Marathon? I'll, New I'll, York City? Yeah, I don't know. One of them, you any of them. You want to run a full 26 miles. I do. It is my goal. I want to obviously do a half first, but it's, it, it feels very um, symbolic of my life. you right. got to just keep going. Don't look back. Keep going, keep yes. going, keep going. Yes, that's right. Yes, and you so. can outrun your critics. I literally do. I you... outrun the paparazzi <laughs> and laugh because they're in the dust, and I do. I like that. That's great. That's great. I think to myself, I can run faster than you can. <laughs> and, and, and it does keep you... Check this picture out. This is you in January in Australia. Everybody look at this picture. That's... That's hot. That's hot. And you can tell always when there's a mom in a hot picture. We can zoom in on something that's in the picture. Wet wipes. <laughs> when you're a mom, there's always wet wipes. We went through so many of those. They were like our lifesaver. <laughs> when was the last time that, that you went on a date? Do you date a lot? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All you the do? Time. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't? 
Do men ask, do, do they, they know who you are, Eight. right? They know your situation. I've been on, you know, a few little dates here and there, but, I, no. you know, I ate but, kids already. I don't need nine. <laughs> no, but John, got, John, your, your ex-husband, was like a child. He started to act very, very childish. You said it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But you want, you want a real man. You want a real. I do. I, you know, I definitely do. I, I kind of joke about the subject because I don't really feel like there's anyone out there. But um, you know who's I, out there? I'll tell you this. You have eight children. You have blonde hair. You're amazingly <laughs> beautiful. You need a Latino. <laughs> because. Because, listen, because to a Latino, a woman that has eight kids is practically a virgin. <laughs> We're like, I met this woman, she has eight kids. Oh, yeah, does she have a sister? I mean, it's like, what? Right. <laughs> eight kids is nothing. Do you know any? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, know, I know a couple of dudes, don't worry. All right, okay, <laughs> we got that covered. When you see somebody in an Ed Hardy shirt, do you throw up a little bit in your mouth? <laughs> Question. <laughs> but it, but it was a little bit too much with the hats and the and the. I mean. It, that was all after me. Yes, so. he, he might have killed that I've company. Moved, I've moved on. You've moved past that. You want a man in a T-shirt without a dragon on it. <laughs> Is that safe to say? Safe. Yes. Do friends? Do your friends try to set you up on dates? Um. Well, actually, my dearest best friend, we were talking about another friend of ours the other day who's going through a divorce, and she said, oh, she just needs, you know, a rich guy, like, to take care of her. And I said, you mean, like, I do? And she's like, oh, well, you're different. <laughs> that's, like, that, different how? I don't... That's what I said. I was like, what does that mean? And she's like, well, you know, you've got issues. <laughs> well, she, she can say it, because she's my best friend. <laughs> and I just, oh, okay. But what issues are she, is she talking about? Well, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna find like the. No, you, you. There's good guys out there that don't care about. They, they want families. They want okay. stability. They want love. <laughs> I, I don't think that's crazy. Seriously. Okay. Is there, is, has there anybody that you've met since you've been doing the show and you've been out at events that is a celebrity that you, you may have a crush? You know, these people have like crushes. They go, oh, I, I love him. I actually, um, you know, all dating discussion aside, I am like totally in love with the show Dexter. Yeah. And I met, <laughs> yeah, like yum. Um, <laughs> and I actually met um, Michael C. Hall at a, a, an Emmys party. And I am never starstruck. Like I meet people and I'm like, you know, good to meet you, whatever. And I ran up to him at this party and I was like, Hi, Michael, um, hi. And he, I totally did like the fan craze thing with him. And then I stopped myself and realized, oh my gosh, I am my worst nightmare standing here. <laughs> and then How I did felt, he respond to that? Um, he left the party and said he'd be back and he didn't come back. Oh, and, what? I mean, you know, he had other things to yeah, do. Yeah, but, but, but he was, should have appreciated that you were such a huge fan. I do not, I, I watch the show when the kids are away. Um, for the, the weekends that they go to their dads. And how do you, do you prepare? Like, do you light a candle and put some roses? <laughs> no, I'm actually, like, I don't like scary stuff at all. And so I turn on all the lights. I watch it on demand over the weekends. And I turn on all the lights. I make myself a salad. I get a drink. I go to the bathroom. I secure the room, <laughs> turn on all the lights, and sit and watch it so I don't have to leave the room because, you know, scary things could pop out of closets. Yeah. So I'm there by myself. So, so when, you, when you go to the store, your, your kids are always with you. It's not like somebody's raising your kids no. for you, you're doing it. I do, I do have a babysitter who's there half the week. Obviously I have to travel and work, but right. when I'm there, I'm cooking, I'm, taking, I'm doing all the grocery shopping. I was, um, I was grocery shopping the other day actually, and I have my three carts of stuff you know, lined up and um, I warn people that come to the line behind me. I'm like, you do not want to be behind me. <laughs> And they look at me like, maybe I do. And then I like point to my three carts and they quickly find another <laughs> aisle. I feel like I need to warn them because, you know, an hour later I'm still bagging stuff. You want to have your own line. Like they have 10 items or less. You might have like eight kids. Or more. Or more. Yeah. Yeah. Have actually, your own line. Or more, yeah. <laughs> well, I love that you came to see me. Thank you. And I will find you a hot oh. 
Latino <laughs> guy. Kate Plus 8 returns to TLC in April. Kate Gosling 